Alright, what do these bastards have on them then? Star Diopside Gem. A lot of gold. A Water Star Gem and some Splint Mail. Oh, go away, music. Some more arrows of a magical variety, apparently. Although we can't seem to pick them up. Then win, I got more gems for you. Enjoy. I should take these magic arrows. And what did this. Did we search both of these guys over here? Or did I only search one of them? Only one of them by the looks of it. Right, well, that was a fair amount of booty, actually. Seems fair enough to me that uh, as a reward. Also, heal. Let's use these while we've got them. And the last one on yourself. Make it quick. Excellent. Now let's continue. And quick save after all that. Edwin can stay injured because I don't care about Edwin. <laughs> uh, yep. Edwin, what are you doing? Are you out of ammunition again? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Um. Wow, so is Minsk almost. Right, here, take these. Probably. I think that's a good good enough sign that we ought to really be on our way to Beragos by now. That's right, try and flee. But you'll fail, and you'll be exploded! Now then. I was going to do something or say something possibly, but I totally forgot what it was. Oh, it wins inventory is completely full of gems. Oh dear. Oh, I might, I might give these books to Edwin. He seems like a bookish sort of a fella, and I'm going to put that in the... Oh. Apparently we have to identify Edwin's artifact somehow. That may require the use of a spell. Yeah, you can hold on to those. In addition to that scroll of infravision, I don't know what the hell we've got that for. Uh, yeah, you can have that too. And all oh, those bajillion scrolls. Mm. Right. Okay. So. I wish there was an auto sort button, I really do. Never mind. Oh my god, have we missed anything? No. This is it, isn't it, really? Apart from this one black spot in the middle of the map here, which is annoying me slightly. Its presence offends me, and we must clear it out. Even then, there's likely nothing here whatsoever. No, nope, not a soul. <laughs> Let's just get going, then. Which is the closest? Right, off to the left. Hopefully, killing those half-ogres did fulfil that quest I mentioned, actually. That'd be a nice little... <laughs> Uh, reward to have under our belts. In addition to all the other crap we've managed to get. Okay, so, yeah, I think we'll head straight to Beragos now. Another eight hour journey. Ah, here we are. At eight o'clock in the morning. We're still not rested because we've been traveling all night, but whatever. Here we are. Better cost. Oh, what? Oh, it's you. Oh, thou wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Well, now our paths cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order. Yeah, it's, it's Elminster. No less, apparently. As we. Uh, proper introductions are in order, as we will no doubt see, meet again. My name is Elminster. I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we've been apart. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. I was not aware that my actions were common knowledge. 
Perhaps not common, common knowledge, but everything is plain for those that know where to look. As it is, I am aware of thine efforts and accomplishments. Thou art quite adept, as Garion predicted. All that remains is to determine motive. Yeah, I think yeah, Marcus is going to be a, t t a tad surprised, actually. Um, Garion? You, you knew him, but you said nothing before. "'Twas neither the place nor the time for such things. As painful, sorry, as painful as the circumstances may have been, it was time for thee to forge thine own path. One of the most valuable lessons that life has taught me is when not to go sticking my pipe in other people's affairs, such is the case now as well. Yeah, and I think I think I, I think I think uh, Marx is going to be backpedaling like crazy now as a result of this, because <laughs> um, as some of you may remember, we encountered this gentleman on our way to the friendly army in right back at the beginning of the Let's Play, and uh, we were quite rude to him actually. Um, Marcus was he wasn't really in the mood for this kind of shenanigans, but yeah, I think we're going to backpedal like crazy a bit now, and he's going to be like, oh, but t t t tell me about Garion and stuff like, tell me what the hell's going on for starters. I fear I cannot. Self-discovery is the be is best left to the self, and all thy questions will be answered in time. I will offer a small tidbit of information, though thou hast likely heard the name the same from another source already. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of travelling in the northeast. A search in that direction will no doubt yield fruitful results. With this, I shall take my leave. Now we didn't actually know that already, as far as I know. At least disappeared into the smith. Um, so that's interesting information. Also, oh, another small child. Good grief. Marcus, Marcus, someone in the Jovial Juggler came, gave me a gold piece to come find you. How do you know my name, child? Why, everyone here is talking about you. You're the ones who saved the Nashkel Mines. My mama says that even though we don't like those folks from Arm, there's no reason anyone should have to suffer, so. Well, we're famous, Marcus. I think Immelwyn almost can't quite believe it herself. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's us, I guess. Uh, you've got a good eye. Now, uh, who who is this person that wants to s wants so much to see us? Her name's Officer Vi, and she's with the Flaming Fist. And you needn't worry; she's real nice. Okay. So, someone with the flaming fists wants to speak to Marcus. And Marcus... Well, is that a good or bad thing? <laughs> really, at the end of the day? Uh, it's probably a good thing. Um, by the way... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Thank you, child. You've earned your gold piece. I will go to the Jovial Juggler and meet with Officer Vi, short meet with Officer Vi shortly. Blah. Good, you folks are real nice. Mama says the Sword Coast needs some real heroes these days. Tomorrow be with you, okay? Alright, well. So. Apparently someone in the Jovial Juggler, which is down here, I think. Yeah, wants to see us. By the name of Officer Bay. We'll go see her in a minute, I suppose. Meantime, however, we need to sell things. And also, we have an Ankeg thing shell to give talents. to this guy. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me. Shows what you have for sale. Oh, can we not give him the Ankeg shell? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, never mind then. Yeah, identify this sword for us. Uh, the, uh, what is it? Oh, is it just a great sword plus one? The turned sword is a derivative of the long sword, weaponsmith, blah, 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 generic information. Yeah, it looks like it's just a great sword plus one. And uh, I'm fine with that. I think uh, Mints can keep it. Really? We'll get rid of that then. What have we got? Case of plenty, ammo belt. Good little masculinity, femininity. Oh yeah, I remember that. Full plate mail. It's ridiculously expensive. Hang on a minute. Oh wait, this is Minsk, yeah. So I was gonna say, why can I? Why is Marcus able to wear plate armor all of a sudden? No. He never was able to wear it. Don't be silly. Right, arrows. 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 
And I'm going to get some extra bullets for these guys, even though I'm not sure if they do need them or not. Bullets. No, not the bullets plus one. Did I just buy bullets plus one? I really hope I didn't. Oh god, never mind. Um, and you. Also, some plate mail armor for Branwyn. What is it oh. now? This land is infested with mercy, which in time causes such complications as feeble mindedness. You are a sick, very sick man, Marcus. <laughs> Oh my god, right, um, just, uh, I practically facepalmed then, um, and it is I who suffers from your symptoms, can your brain grasp the fact that I did not come here to save the witch, and to travel in her abhorring company, but to kill her? <laughs> I think maybe we'll threaten him a little bit. <laughs> Indeed, you have botched your task so I can report you to your Zulkir as a traitor. Now, I suggest that you do what I say. My amateur comedian companion, your words would mean less to my Zulkir than the rattle of a pebble caught in the sole of his boot. I suggest that you do not try to play this game with me, Marcus. It would be too boring to win over you. <laughs> Oh, Edwin! Uh, swear I'm gonna cleave his skull into one of these days anyway. Enjoy your new play armor. That's for the splint, so I guess we're gonna just sell that back. You wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. There we go. Uh, what's that bringer armor class to now? What is your command? Zero. Awesome. And also, yeah, enjoy your new greatsword plus one, Minsk. As for what the hell we're going to do with this flipping pancake trial, I don't know. I guess we might as well just drop the bloody thing. I would have thought we'd be able to sell it to him or something. Because he took the last one we had. Whatever. On the ground it goes. What? Of course. Also, I should equip all this new ammunition as well before I forget. Oh no, these guys were probably doing okay for ammo. Oh, I did buy a bunch of bullets plus one. Last, damn it. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Could we sell those gems? I forgot to check. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. We can sell all these gems. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Where is the where, right? Where's that opal? The one we found in that rock. Water opal. Oh, it's not that valuable. I guess it was just a lucky find. Right, sell it all. Um, oh, no! Of course, he doesn't take potions. Oh, he might. No, no, he doesn't. He won't buy potions. He is a smith, after all. That makes perfect sense. And he won't buy any of this crap either. Okay. Uh, we'll buy these. Oh right. I suppose we could identify these arrows if we really wanted to. But I no, screw that. I'm not paying a hundred gold to identify three measly arrows. Well, let's head over to the Jovi Juggler, shall we? Not. Uh, hang on a minute. We're missing someone. Someone rather important. Make it quick. <laughs> a waste of my talent. Whoops. Yes, of course. Right, let's get going. Can I assist you? Ah. So this is Officer Vi. 
Ah, oh, Marcus, I thought it might be you. These southern parts are quite set, uh, set quite afire with talk of your work in Nashville. I am off to survive the Flaming Fist, and to be honest, I could use your help. Uh, okay, in order to wait for your name and title, I will survive where the Flaming Fist may be. The law in these parts, but the extent of that law stops when they reach my blade. Like, that's a very marcus -y sort of a sort of a reply, but as we've already established, Marcus kind of... He respects soldiers. Um, he has a lot of respect for the soldiering profession, that is to say. So, But on the other hand, it's like, I am honoured to be found worthy of your notice, officer. That's also not very... You know. That's, that does, also doesn't fit his character. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be any middle ground between these two, so I'll just go with this one for now. My contingent and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received new orders for close to a week. And to be honest, I don't like the feel of this at all. The bandit raids have been getting worse since you... Yeah, the bandit raids have been getting worse since you returned from Nashville. I used to think that they were just your, your usual brigands out to make a quick buck in the troubled times, in troubled times, but not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or another, I've got to set, I've got to get my troops back to the gate. I'll pay 50 gold pieces for every bandit scalp you can bring me and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. So there we go. We can sell her bandit scouts when we get them. So there you go. Now, like I said, I could have picked up all those bandit scouts we've encountered. But doing so would be outrageously out of character and metagaming and stuff like that. But from now on, I will be collecting bandit scalps. Because, uh, yeah. Marcus loathes bandits and he has no problems whatsoever with scalping the little buggers. Um, selling them for gold. In any case. Where's that paladin? Bjorn. No there he is. Yes. So have you tested your steel against this hard as I mentioned? Apparently not. Um never mind, I guess. Right, I want to go to Feldepost now, because Feldepost is pretty much the other than the temple, of course. The only other place I think where we can sell stuff. So you know, in Beragost. So where the hell's Feldepost then? It's this way, isn't it? I think. I'm going to sell some of our more useless potions to the temple, I think. But, yeah, I'm going to go... There it is. I'm going to go see if we can get rid of some of these necklaces and stuff. At least. Could be that we have to go all the way to the friendly I'm in to bloody well. Um, you want some whiskey? Sell some of these, but never mind. Could get rid of some of these scrolls. Uh, Alright, grind scroll, letter, and... Alright, these will just be the two bounty letters, so we can get rid of them. Alright, silver ring, silver necklace. Tiger carry shell necklace and the bloodstone amulet. There we go. Ah, and... Uh, uh, hey, there we go. Ah, right, okay, so we cancel some of these, right. Potions of fire resistance don't honestly need. I can't think of a mo even, a, even a point in the past where I might have needed them. I suppose they were the flaming arrows, but... Hill giant strength, no, I'll keep that. Cold resistance. Oil of speed I will never use. Potion of power. Ooh, that's, yeah, we're keeping that. Vial of mysterious liquid. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't need that. Uh, absorption. Armor class plus 10 bonus versus crushing attacks. And 100% electrical resistance. That seems a very bizarre and strange combination. Whatever, I'll get rid of it. Stone form. Armor class set to zero. Not as useful as I think it could be. Mm, yeah, that can go. Magic blocking. That could be useful, actually. Um, yeah. These two potions I'll keep, I guess. And the red potion might be worth getting rid of. I don't know. I mean, sorry, no, not that one. The violet potion. But I'll keep them for now. And the this oil of speed. Yeah, I'll get rid of that as well. Hang on. Yeah, we had two oils of speed, except they came in different bottles, apparently. Oh, and uh, these ones are far less valuable, apparently. Oh, uh, impression of invulnerability. Yeah, I'll get rid of that too, I suppose. Oh, lots of gold now. Excellent. 
Uh, Let's go dark wine, please. Those damn bandits just heard from my wife. They struck again and slaughtered the men who were guarding the caravan, including two boys from here in Beragos. Just sad thing. More wine. And mead. It's expensive stuff, that, isn't it? Ever mead. It's a shame you can't right click on these and find out more about them. Um, because I know for a fact, essentially, <laughs> because I've, I've, I've watched My Name is Not Lily's. Neverwinter Nights Let's Play, and he goes into a lot of the lore of the, the, the Forgotten Realm setting, which is all set in when he when he plays that game. And I know for a fact there's actually lore information behind every single one of these little bits of these little like types of alcohol you come across in the game, and unfortunately we can't actually right click on any of them to find out about them. The old of them like Evermead and Badusk and Dark Wine and stuff, they all they're all they're all kind of unique in a certain way. Um, which is certainly interesting. There we go. We've had a drink. Uh, an afternoon. Okay. Very early morning drink, even. <laughs> okay, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Whoops. I thought it was midday, but it wasn't. Never mind. Um, we should probably rest, though, because otherwise we're going to become fatigued quite soon. And that wouldn't be so good. In all fairness, because we've been traveling for solidly for like two days now almost without resting, so that probably would be a good idea. Plus, we need to replenish our spells and things, and yeah, I think anyway. Yeah, I think we probably do. Let's have a what look. You me? Yeah, you've only got your charm person spell left, and wish my ear? you've only got your stinking cloud left. Hello. Of course, you've got loads left, because what? you just have loads of spells, but talents. still. Yeah, let's head back into Felder Posts and just, just get rooms and just put our feet up for the day, I think, really, and you want some go ahead and rest. And the Royal Suite, no less.